2018 Volvo XC60 Car Review. The redesigned Volvo XC90 began the brand's renaissance in 2015. Now that the 90 series family XC90, S90, V90, V90 cross country has become fully fleshed out, Volvo has launched the very first of its midsize 60 series models, the XC60. Like its still to come sedan and wagon brethren, the XC60 was made on the scalable product architecture SPA platform that underpins the well received 90 series. How closely does the XC60 emulate its elder sibling? Our first drive of Volvo's smaller SUV, still the brand's top selling model at 8 many years of age, shows so that it is very close indeed. The good points of 2018 Volvo XC60 Classy looks in and out, roomier rear seat, improved handling, many standard equipment. The bad points of 2018 Volvo XC60 Nervous steering, no front drive model at launch. Family resemblance From the pillar forward, the XC60 may very well be mistaken with the bigger SUV. The upright fascia houses much the same grille, flanked by high-mounted headlights adorned with Volvo's Thor's Hammer sideways LED light graphic. The transverse engine XC60 self-consciously sucks rolling around in its front overhang, and also the hood traces a straight line towards the base on the windshield. Gaze rearward, however, also it's clear this is actually the junior model. The belt line angles up as opposed to continuing in a very length enhancing straight line, the spine quarter windows are smaller, plus the lift gate is canted forward more aggressively. Compared using its predecessor, the brand new XC60's wheelbase continues to be stretched 3.6 inches, although at 112.8 inches it's still 4.7 inches shy on the XC90's. Overall length expires just 1.8 inches, therefore, the overhangs are already trimmed. The vehicle and this is 2.1 inches less than before and fractionally wider, hence the net effect is usually a sleeker profile along with a more planted look. The wheelbase stretch pays dividends and rear seat space, a weak point in the outgoing model. The improvement is tangible. Passengers lay on a cushion that's comfortably upstarted and enjoy generous rear legroom and headroom. Overhead, a panoramic sunroof is standard on all models so it helps brighten the interior, too much, perhaps, for people in desert climes, since the mesh sunshade doesn't totally filter out the rays which probably is a smaller problem in Sweden. The dashboard design, TFT instrument cluster, blade-alike air vents, and vertically oriented touchscreen all perform a convincing impression with the stylish XC90. The knurled metal finish for the ignition knob and also the drive mode roller switch are additionally ported over in the 90 series cars. Elsewhere about the tall center console, two sliders cover two cup holders and a couple of smaller cubbies, as the USB port is in the hinge at top main bin. The inscription model we drove was further luxed with the $3,000 luxury seat package, which include ultra-soft leather, heating for your front and rear seats, a heated controls, and ventilated front seats as well as power cushion extensions, power adjustable side bolsters, along with a massage function to the front seats. So there's plenty of seat adjustability even though it winds up feeling such as you are located on an assemblage of parts instead of one sculpted chair. Volvo's Census Connect 9.0-inch touchscreen is slightly tweaked having a larger map to the navigation system, new fonts, and revised menu logic, it seems ogre on, and also the system is with relative ease to use with some familiarization. We might prefer a knob for zooming as opposed to pinch and pull along with physical controls for fan speed and temperature, which is, the front and back defrosters would be the only VAC controls with physical buttons. 
they join the audio system's volume knob and tuning buttons within the minimalist interface. The XC60 introduces some new active safety features. Oncoming lane mitigation can be a variation on lane keeping assist, if a person crosses the very center line plus the system detects an oncoming vehicle, it sounds an alarm so it helps the driver steer the automobile back into its lane. Volvo's City Safety Automated Emergency Foot Brake can now help a motorist steer around objects as an alternative to just braking to stop them. It truly does work at speeds from 31 to 62 miles per hour and the newest blind spot assist system similarly might help steer your vehicle back into its lane if the motive force pulls over to pass when there's an automobile in the auto's blind spot or approaching quickly within the adjoining lane. It and rear cross traffic alert are optional while city safety and oncoming lane mitigation are standard. Volvo's Pilot Assist Semi-Autonomous Driver Assist feature is optional here part on the convenience package, whereas it's standard for the 90 series cars. It works at increases to 80 miles per hour and is also primarily for the purpose of highway driving. The self-steering feature which need to be separately enabled as soon as the adaptive cruise control is placed, no longer needs a motor vehicle in front to follow along with, it truly does work well, steering smoothly and staying centered within the lane, even though it does want the motive force to keep a hand within the wheel. 3 and 3 As for the XC90, you find three trim levels, momentum, or design, and inscription. Even the bed's base momentum is well equipped. Priced at $42,495, it provides leather, a panoramic sunroof, the aforementioned city safety and oncoming lane mitigation, landkeeping assist, LED headlights and taillights, 18-inch wheels, rain-sensing wipers, roof rails, 10-way power front seats. Census 9.0 inch touchscreen infotainment with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a backup camera, plus a power lift gate. The redesign, at $45,795, adds a firmer suspension tune, 19 inch wheels, drive mode settings, a 12.3 inch driver display, navigation, shift paddles, sport seats upholstered in leather and micro suede metal mesh interior trim, along with a black headliner, together with model-specific visuals including a gloss black grille, and matte silver mirror caps and window trim. The top spec inscription, costing $46,295, adds Ford's own automatic climate control, proximate high key entry, a hands-free tailgate, driftwood interior trim, and much more exterior chrome. Any from the three trims could be combined with any on the three powertrains that happen to be lifted directly on the 90 series models. The base T5 engine can be a turbocharged 2.0 liter inland fur with 250 horsepower and 258 lbft of torque. The T6 adds a supercharger to your mix, upping output to 316 ponies and 295 lbft. The T8 layers a pollution hybrid system atop the T6 hardware, making for a combined total of 400 horsepower and 472 lbft. Its of only range, and models EPA fuel economy, have yet to be released. An 8 speed automatic transmission is standard, as is also all wheel drive front drive models are expected that you follow later. Our time within the XC60 was confined towards the T6. Its 316 horsepower moves this compact SUV energetically. We measured a 6.0 second 0 to 60 mph time on this power train inside XC90, plus the roughly 500 pound lighter XC60 should arrive there in 5.7. Throttle response doesn't suffer any serious lag. While it's less precisely linear like a larger displacement naturally aspirated engine. The boosted four gurgles pleasantly when pushed, with gentler acceleration associated with an occasional faint supercharger whine or turbo whistle. 
The 8-speed automatic calls little focus to itself, but only the redesign has shift paddles. Inside the other models, you must slap the lever towards the left to go in manual mode, then toggle forward and back for upshifts and downshifts. Following SPA form, the XC60 presently has a control room front as well as a multi-link rear suspension, the leading using coil springs while the spine gets a transverse composite leaf spring. The car we drove, however, was designed with the available air springs and electronically adjustable dampers in $1,800 option. Volvo engineers claim that the brand new chassis front and back roll centers will be the same they weren't inside the previous model, and so the car doesn't pitch forward in turns. Run through a succession of quick corners, and it also feels sportier than before and well balanced for an SUV. Set in dynamic mode, additionally, it ably resists roll and admirably controls body motions. Switch for the default comfort setting, plus it's a shade less impressive on both counts. The smooth roads of sunny Spain, where our try took place, gave little indication of how the suspension copes with broken pavement, nevertheless the few bumps we did encounter declare that this Volvo's ride isn't as brittle as possible find on some of their German competitors, that's for the optional 20-inch wheels, available wheel sizes cover anything from 18 to 22 inches dependent upon trim level. Volvo's engineers didn't want the XC60 to feel just like the XC90 from when driving. Seeking greater driver engagement, they altered the steering in the XC60 for greater response immediately if cinder. The result, though, is just too big quick, with the insufficient valley uncenter. The twitchy sensation is exacerbated by too many boost and fails to build because wheel is turned. Here again, you'll desire to switch to your sportier drive mode, the location where the increased effort comes with a better sense of straight ahead. The steering could be the only major letdown in the otherwise improved driving experience, at least inside the version we drove. With the steel and composite sprung chassis still to try, in standard and firmer redesign form, not to bring up the base engine plus the pollution hip ride power train, there's additional to investigate with the modern XC60. It reaches dealerships in August, with all the T8 following in September. So far, we'd state that this new kid is usually a faithful chip over XC90's block.